Although working at home certainly has some advantages, doing so during a pandemic under stay-at-home orders is a whole different story to a lot of people. Many are feeling irritable, anxious, and struggling to find work-life balance more than ever before. So what factors make this all so challenging and how can we calm things down? Important questions for clinical psychologist, Dr. Jeffrey Gardier tonight. Doc, as always, thanks for being with us for the past few years. Work-life balance, so important. And, you know, hard to find that when you're coming downstairs and you're already at work and everything is around you all the time. That's right. And you're not going to work. Work is at home. Home is at work. And therefore, the work-life balance is completely gone. Uh, there's no separation. There's no boundaries. Uh, and therefore, you're on practically all the time when it comes to work. I have to tell you, I I've spent... 14 hours a day working at home versus working at the job site. At least I knew I could start at a certain time and end at a certain time. Here, there is no beginning and there is no end when it comes to work at home. So let's talk about two sides of it. I think of just as one example, uh, mom and a dad who have young kids and maybe mom took time to be home with the kids, all of a sudden now, dad is infused into that situation still having to do whatever that day job is what's the advice for dad and then let's turn to mom it is important uh that you support mom uh, as much as you can but try to keep steady hours for taking care of the kids uh and also keep steady hours for doing the work and really the same thing for mom you see what happens bill is that there's a just a confluence of everything mm -hmm. getting up every few minutes to go take to go take care of the kids. Yeah. Example. Right. I mean, right. Case in point, Doc. Exactly. Uh, and then trying to focus on the work. So instead, just set schedules for mom and for dad or for the partners where they can give uh, uh, a specific time for work and specific time for the kids. Let's talk just a briefly about that person who's alone. So not only are they not going out to work, their work at home is isolation. That's right. And if we really begin to miss some of the rituals of being at work. You just don't get uh, some diversity in the things that you're doing. So what should you do to, to, uh, get, oh, to overcome that? What's one piece of advice? Well, uh, I think it's very important that as you give uh, dedicated hours uh, towards your work, you also give dedicated time to getting up from work, going outside, taking a break, watching a little bit of television, and then coming back to your work instead of just focus, focus, focus. That is completely blowing your mind. All right, Doc. Always good to see you. Happy Easter. Enjoy the weekend. We'll talk Monday. Thank you. All right.